Hello again and welcome to Ndudu by Fafa. Hello Ndudu natives. Today I'm going to share my cottage cheese recipe. The one that I prefer, which is of course infused with natural flavors. Now, if you watched the Wagashi recipe, this is similar, but it gets to a point where it becomes different. So naturally, I'm using my organic whole milk and I'm transferring that into my saucepan. I'm going to warm this through. But of course, not before I add my first flavor, which is the lemongrass. And as you can tell, this is the Ghanaian lemongrass. Hint, hint, absolutely. You can use the normal lemongrass stalks that you get from the supermarket if you do not have the lemongrass leaves. Absolutely. Now, all I'm doing is infusing that full leave and it's going to be so aromatic and absolutely delicious. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is allow this to simmer and that would take about 10 minutes. And I'm doing this on a medium to low heat because it's a gentle infusion of flavors. Now, if this is your first time, you're welcome. Thank you very much for tuning in. Please do me that great service of subscribing and also activating your notifications so that all future videos you will be notified of it and you do not miss a thing now for me to form the curd i need something with acid so yes you can use your lemon if you don't have lime and also you can use your vinegar but i prefer the lime flavor it's so aromatic and absolutely gorgeous now what i did was you know roll and massage the lime just to allow the juice to be loosened in the lime so when i cut it through and squeeze the juice it all comes out easily now, of course, whenever I'm using my lime, I like to grate the zest and reserve the zest for another recipe because there's no waste in my kitchen. And even when I squeeze the juice out of it, I then use the remaining lime. I just dip it in warm water and I drink it right through the day. Absolutely. So, yes, let's squeeze some juice. And naturally, I'd leave all the list of ingredients and measurements on my blog fafagilbert.com so do check it out yes so i've used four pints of milk here and i'm using four limes absolutely and yeah let's do some squeezing <laughs> notification gang thank you guys so much for holding me together and to all my loyal subscribers i appreciate each and every one of you so now let's get back to the warm milk. And at this point, it's definitely infused so I can carefully lift or take the lemongrass leaves out of my mixture. The smell alone in the kitchen is just so aromatic and so soothing because it's got that lemongrass, you know, sort of smell coming through. And that flavor is permeated right through into my milk. So at this point, I can see this is heated up beautifully, um, but I just need to make sure that I have no particles in it. So I'm just using my little strainer to just strain the surface. And as you can see, I'm just like grabbing some few particles. You can't omit this altogether, um, but yes, it's just me being pinnickety, I guess. And this is beautiful. So now I'm going to introduce my lemon or not lemon, <laughs> lime juice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a natural mistake that always happens, exactly. So here, I'm just going to scoop that gently in, and this is where the curd will separate from the whey. Now, the interesting thing about infusing the milk with the lemongrass and, of course, using the lime, it means that your whey is flavored with that lemongrass and lime flavor, absolutely. And that I'll be using for another recipe, yes. So when I did add the lime juice, Yes, I got it right this time, not lemon juice. <laughs> but yes, you can use lemon. Um, I reduce the heat to its lowest setting and I'm allowing this to simmer for about five minutes as I gently stir this to make sure that, you know, every milk or the curd is formed thoroughly. Yes, and I'm just teasing this beautifully. You've got to be patient with this altogether. And then after five minutes, I'm going to turn the heat off and cover this mixture and allow it to cool down for another 10 minutes. 
at that point, when you come back, you will notice that your curd is like nice and chunky and beautiful. And your whey would have this sort of baby lime green color. And that is all for flavor. So, of course, when you do separate it, reserve the whey in the fridge. So, yes, after 10 minutes, it's still hot, as you can tell. But, yeah, look at that, as I mentioned. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is not any other food. This is in Didu by Fafa. Now, if you do like what you see, please, yes, smash that like button for me. I'd appreciate that. Leave your comments and also share with your family and friends and invite them over. So at this stage, I'm reserving some of the way with the curd. As I mentioned, I was going to bake in another recipe. And that is a classic Guinean drink, which is made out of millet. Absolutely. Hint, hint. So another incredible probiotic sort of drink that is just incredible. Anything with millet and spices, I'm just up for it. So yes, I'm going to reserve that um, and then cover it and place that in the fridge. Now I need to strain this beauty. So yet again, I've got my cheesecloth that I've placed in a strainer and I will just be scooping this beauty into the cheesecloth. So we separate in the curd from the whey. Where we go. <laughs> So what I'm doing is twisting the cheesecloth so that I can extract as much whey out of the curd as I can. And I'm just applying a little bit of pressure. However, I would leave this for about an hour for it to just drain naturally as well. So after an hour, when you pick this up, you end up with this beautiful molded, you know, sort of curd in a way. Now, you don't really need to squeeze it. You can just leave it to just, you know, drain and that would just be perfect. But I like to do it this way because, yes, the way is also important. Where we go. <laughs> anyway, so here's a big reveal. If you watch the Wagashi, is exactly the same sort of process that I used. And at that point or at this point, I then boiled the whey, which I did add some salt and then poured the hot whey over the cheese. And it was that that I proceeded to allow it to air dry for about 10 minutes and then fried it. And that was the wagashi. I will leave a link in the description box below so you can watch how I made that wagashi with a distilled white vinegar. Yes, and you can familiarize yourself with the process. But for now, we need to move on to the cottage cheese a la Indudu, which is also aromatic right now. Exactly. So at this point, you would notice that the curd has hardened up, you know, and it's just formed this beautiful ball. Now, the reason why I tend to do this is it allows me to use the remaining half of my wagashi. So then I proceed with that. And then I have that lime, lemony, grass flavor coming through. But for now, I've just taken half of it and to a bowl, I'm just going to flake it. Now, do bear in mind that when you are extracting the curd out of the whey, you can just hang it and allow the whey to drip. If you do that for an hour, you end up with a moist sort of, you know, cottage cheese there and then. So then you can omit this process. But I prefer this process where I do add my natural yogurt, which is homemade. Yes, I have covered that and I've got another incredible yogurt recipe coming up for you. So I'd leave a link in the description box and you can familiarize yourself with how to make your own yogurt. So I'm just adding about two tablespoons full and I love that tanginess that it has. You know, the yogurt has this slight fermented flavor that it adds to this dish and you've got that whole lemongrass and the lime flavor coming through. So that's just refreshing and beautiful. So this is how I like my cottage cheese. And I'm just going to mix all of this together until it's combined and it's nice and moist. You know, if you want a wetter version of a cottage cheese, yes, you can add a little bit of the whey. 
Absolutely. And in this instance, I was like, yeah, why not? Because the whey has that slight flavor. So I scooped a little bit that I reserved earlier in the fridge. So I just scooped a little bit of the whey and as well as a bit of a curd. And yeah, that just made it for my cottage cheese. So you see, the process is just similar, but it gets to a junction. One has to go left and the other has to go right. Is that not about how life is? <laughs> we can all start the same thing and do the same thing, but we have different paths in achieving what we want to achieve in life, really. Exactly. Don't try and follow somebody else's path. Follow your path and just believe in yourself. And just take one step at a time. That's all it takes, yes. Just achieve one thing every day for yourself. Because in the end, you'll be the happiest person ever. Exactly. As they say, happiness is an inside job. So is making your own homemade cottage cheese. How did I even relate that to that? Anyway, it's in Dudu by far. And I hope you are inspired to try the recipe. Share with your family and friends. Leave your comments below. Yes. And um, do tag me when you do try the recipe. Yes. And let me share it on my socials as well. You will find me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, and Facebook as Indu Dubai for fun. So pass by and say hi. Narelle, thank you very much for my theme song. And don't forget, I've got the written recipe on my blog, fafagilberts.com. Until my next recipe, take care of you, protect yourself, and me, I love you, for you. Toodles.